This video will show you how to download and register ZOSMF workflows for the CA database management solutions for IMS for ZOS. If you have already downloaded and installed a portable software instance, the workflows are included and are already registered. You can therefore proceed to create and execute the workflows, which is described in the next video Create and Execute Workflows for the CA Database Management Solutions for IMS for ZOS. The rest of this video demonstrates how to download and register the ZOSMF workflows if you have not already downloaded and installed a portable software instance. The required solution is SO13026, which can be downloaded from Broadcom support. This solution contains the following workflows. For more information about any of these workflows, use the link below to check the topic ZOSMF Post Install Configuration Workflows in the user documentation on TechDocs. To download the required solution, go to support.broadcom.com and log in with your Broadcom account credentials. Then select Mainframe Software. On the next screen, select Product Downloads. Now type IMS and select IMS Tools. Now switch to Solution Download. On the next screen you can select version 20 of any of the listed components. Now scroll down to find the required solution SO13026. The solution name is ZOSMF Post Install Configuration Workflows. You can download the solution using either FTP protocol or HTTPS protocol. Once the solution is installed, you will have a dataset that contains a separate member for each workflow, starting with ITK WFL. Before you can create and execute a workflow, it must be registered in ZOSMF. Here we can see the ZOSMF homepage. Log in using your ZOSMF credentials. Now select Software and Software Management. On the next screen, select Software Instances. Now right click on your software instance and select Modify. On the next screen, switch to the Workflows tab. Open the Actions drop-down menu and select Add. We will now add the first workflow to create library dataset aliases. Enter a name and a description for the workflow. For is definition file SMPE managed, ensure that yes is selected. In the field SMPE element type, enter prod XML. And in the field SMPE element name, enter the workflow member name, in this case ITKWFL01. Now click OK and repeat for each workflow that you want to register. Here you can see that all of the workflows have been added. You are now ready to proceed to create and execute the workflows. This is described in the next video, Create and Execute Workflows for CA Database Management Solutions for IMS for ZOS.